How to sell affiliate products without a website. Hey, it's Daniel P. Robertson, and in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about is the selling affiliate products without having a website of your own. Uh, so let's cue the intro and dive right into it. Hi, so as I mentioned earlier, it's Daniel P. Robertson here, and if you want to grow your audience, increase your influence, and get life-changing results with affiliate marketing, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of any content that I release. So um, growing your audience without a website, I do recommend having a website. I have a website myself, and, and the reason is because I think there's some things there that I can use to leverage to grow my business faster and to get better results. Uh, for instance, one thing that you can do with a website that you can't necessarily do without one is to build an email list. And an email list is very powerful because it lets you follow up with your audience over and over again. But there are also some things that you can do without a website that allow you to build an affiliate business in the meantime, maybe until you're getting ready to get that website up and going. So for instance, what I'm doing is I'm using YouTube to, as a platform to leverage to build my affiliate marketing business. So, so YouTube is powerful because it lets you build an audience of people who like you and trust you and want to hear from you over and over again. So when you can build that audience and you can get their attention, you can get them to listen to your advice and your recommendations, that's very powerful for affiliate marketing. Because then when you recommend something as an affiliate product that you can earn a commission on, and then just a small portion of your audience takes action and actually buys that product that you're recommending, then you can earn some commissions. So in order to leverage YouTube to build a business, there's some things we need to understand about how the platform works in order to get those results. So first thing is that, again, is about delivering value to an audience consistently over time. And as you continue to deliver that value to that audience, they're going to trust you and to want to listen to you and to want to hear about your, your recommendations and your advice and that just the content that you put out. The, other, the next thing we need to understand about how YouTube works is that YouTube rewards consistency. When you're consistently uploading videos to YouTube, that gives you a better chance to get more people watching your videos. We also want to be optimizing our YouTube videos for search and discovery. So for search, that, that would be like, you know, researching keywords that we can use. I've got a video on how to do that. The research and keywords that, that people are searching for and that you can rank for, they can help you get in front of your target audience, your target market. We also want to be optimizing for suggested videos. So suggested videos would be instead of doing, you know, keywords that are less popular, less competitive, because we have a chance of ranking for them as a small channel, then for, for suggested, we want to actually be doing popular topics. topics. So for instance, you want to look at maybe another handful of channels in your niche. Take a look at their most popular videos and then do something similar. Do videos that are similar to those most popular, popular videos on those other channels. That can help you get into suggested videos for other videos that are similar to that, that a lot of people are already watching. The next thing that's really important for YouTube is watch time. YouTube really wants to keep people on YouTube, keep people watching YouTube. And so the idea here would for you to be to create videos, try to make them as engaging as possible so that people keep watching them. And there's some tips on how to make your videos more engaging. For instance, one thing you can do is tell people what they're going to learn and to stay tuned and keep watching so they can learn it. Maybe tell people how many tips you're going to share with them so they stay tuned for all of the tips, uh, which I failed to do in this video, so that's something I'm going to be working on for my next video. And so, and so basically putting all these things together is that you create videos that serve your audience and are optimized for search and discovery, so search and suggested videos, optimize them for these, consistently publish those over time, build your audience, and as you're building that audience, then you can include your affiliate links, say, in the description of the video. And so put your link in the description of the video to send them off to the affiliate product that you're recommending at that point. And then of course, if you do have a website, if you do want to build a website, then you can send them to your website where you can collect leads and build an email list so you can follow up them over, over and over again. But to start out, if you don't have that website yet, you can just send them straight to the affiliate offer. And as long as your audience trusts you and likes to hear from you, and they, they listen to your advice, they should, uh, you know, a portion of them will take you up on that offer. 
I mean, you're going to be missing out on some of the sales you could be getting if you're not building an email list, but you can still get started without one, without an email list or without a website uh, if you're getting, just getting started. Okay, so again, it's Daniel P. Robertson here. And if you want to grow your audience, increase your influence and get life-changing results with affiliate marketing, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the content that I release. Thanks for watching.